Jesus. The word is in common. Jesus. Who has established all ends of the earth? Jesus. What is his name? Jesus. Is his name? Oh, so you guys are the elect and you denying Jesus? I'm talking about Jesus. Yes, it is. What is his name? Read it again. Read it off the top. Proverbs 30 and 4. Remember, I have my question. Remember that. Who have ascended into heaven or descended? Who have carried the winds in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Jesus. Who have established all the ends of the earth? Jesus. What is his name? What is his name? Jesus. Go ahead. And what is his son's name? And what Jesus. is his son's name? Jesus. Oh, hold on, hold on. How, Jesus. How can his name be Jesus and his son's name? Well, actually, he's both. So he's both. How? See, how see, how, 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 all right, first off, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Yahweh, the true name of the Father in the ancient pure Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash. Yahweh Shai, the name of the Son, right? Not Jesus, not Yahshua, the name of the Father is not Yahweh, not Yah, not, 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 um, not Yehovah or Yehovah. Right? The name of the Father is Yahweh, the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. Now, what you're seeing is um, the G Man, black Christian. You know, confronting, you know, one of the um, GMS camps in Kingston, you know, right there is um, Priest Kabar and the other Akim. You know, this man is just a pestilent and a nine fellow who does not know the scriptures, who is not after the truth, who simply tries to slander GMS, who simply tries to paint the men of the Lord in a bad character. Claiming that he's disproving our doctrine, you know. Now, what I want to focus on in this lesson is what he just said um, just now in the clip that I just played. You know, the brothers were reading from Proverbs 30 and verse 4, you know, and he was saying that that is talking about Jesus, right? Saying that Jesus and God are the same person. Now, later on in the video, he tried to he tries to bring out Revelation chapter 1 and verse 17 to 18, you know saying that Jesus and God are the same person. Well, G-Man, this video is, is, is directed to you, right? I want you to prove or respond to this video and prove how you know that Jesus is God or prove from the scripture that Jesus is God after uh, you have watched this video, right? So let's just get straight into it. Food first, your, your scripture, all right? Let me just get it. All right, so this is Revelation chapter 1 verse 17 and i saw him and i fell at his feet as dead and he said and he laid his right hand upon me saying fear not i am the first and the last i am he that liveth and was dead and behold i live forevermore a man and have the keys of hell and of death now g man is saying that because this scripture say i am he that liveth and was dead and and have the keys of hell and death or i am the first and the last meaning that that this is saying that he is god which is not true, which is inaccurate, right? This precept is not saying that Yahawashai is God, right? So let's examine this. Let's examine this bit by bit. Now, first of all, I said, I am he that have the keys of hell and death. What does that mean? All right? This is Isaiah 22 and verse 21. Let me read on down. And I will clothe him with thy robe and strengthen him with thy girdle, and I will commit thy government into his hand. And he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. What's he talking about? He's talking about Yahweh Shai, which you're going to see. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so, shall he, so he shall open and none shall shut. And he shall shut and none shall open. Right? Let's prove that this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Right? Revelation 3 and verse 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So if Yahweh Shai is the heavenly father, if they are two persons, they are one and the same person, how then will he confess your name? All right? If you are a part of the elect, how will he confess your name before his father if he and the father are the same person? All right? Is, 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 um, is the Messiah schizophrenic? Is he bipolar? Does he have multiple personality disorder? No. Right? He says, But I will confess his name before my Father and before his holy angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These things saith the holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, 
he that open it and no man shut it and shut it and no man open it this is clearly talking about the son of the heavenly father yahweh shai the messiah right saying that he will confess our name before the father if we hold fast and overcome right the same person that's talking about in isaiah that received the key of david right let's prove even further that they are not the same person right this is revelation chapter 3 and verse 14 and to the angel of the church of, La of the Laodicean, Laodiceans write, These things say the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of Yahweh. If Yahweh Shai is a creation, how then is he and God the same person? Yo? Right? This, is a, this is all a part of the, um, the, 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 the doctrine coming from the Council of Nicaea. Right? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's the first Council of Nicaea. Where um, Arius and his followers, you know, um, disputed, right, and showed scripturally that that was heresy, oh, because the um, the early church in Christendom wanted to to to, to infuse the characters of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, or, or of God and Jesus, saying that they are the same person, saying that the Son is co-eternal, right, and the same entity as the Father, um, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right. But Arius, with these same precepts. Proved that Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, whom the world called Jesus, is a creation and was created and was not co-eternal. Right? And the scripture proves that. And unto the angel of the church of, La of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of Yahweh. Right? So what g is preaching is nothing more than Catholic doctrine. You know? It's nothing more than the doctrine um, put forward by the early church in the time of Emperor Constantine during the councils of Nicaea. That's all this is about. You know? All Christianity is, is just a proliferation right, of the madness seen, that was infused into Christianity by the early church who were actually jake. Right? That's just it, continuing the lies. You know? Let's prove, that, let's prove it even further, beyond the shadow of a doubt. This is Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. So Yahawashai is a creature. The Messiah is a creature. He was created. Right? And he, he was the only creation, direct creation of Yahweh. And through him, as if scripture continues to say, verse 16, For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all, and by him all things exist. Right? Seeing? So he's the beginning. He's, he's the firstborn of every creature. He's the beginning of the creation of the Most High. He's not the Heavenly Father, yo. Lastly, Daniel 7 and verse 13. I saw in night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days and then brought him near before him. Who is the Son of Man? Who is the Ancient of Days? Right? The Son of Man is Yahweh Shai, the Messiah. Whom you ignorantly call Jesus, who is the ancient of days, the heavenly father, Yahweh, whom you ignorantly call Yah and Yahweh. His right name is Yahweh. Right? So if 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 the angels, right, or if Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Salakia, the son of man, came unto the, the, the um the ancient of days and they brought him near before him, how how is that happening? Yeah, then if they are the same entity, how is one brought before the next? Just like in Revelation, he said he would confess his, um your name before um the father. How, how do you confess yourself to you, confess something to yourself? How do you get brought before yourself? Right? These men are nothing but unlearned and wicked and evil men, yo. That's all these men are. Right? And I'm I'm betting you, I'm betting you that if he does respond to this, he wants to bring out St. John chapter 1, verse 1, which we will prove by going into the the, the, the um the ancient Greek and the ancient Hebrew to show you that that scripture is is um is translated incorrectly into the English, yo. Right. So we're waiting on the response, right? And with that, I hope this ed lesson was edifying. You know, brothers, keep pushing, keep defending the gospel, right? 
And again, Kalalal Yahawah, Bahashem, Yahawah Shai, and double honors to the apostles of GMS. Salutations also to the Akim out there pushing this truth. Go, just, just go at it, Ak. Right? Just go at it, Akim. Right? This, we, we're almost out of here. Right? This is why the spirit, the, the, the spirit of the devil you know, is trying, is trying to come against the men of the Lord. We're almost out of here, yo. Just keep pushing, keep diligent. You know, keep defending the word, keep doing the work, keep keep preaching these prophecies, yo. We're almost out. Shalom.